Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am with my favorite registered dietitian, Lacey Puttick. Lacey and I are going to go over a couple simple methods to use to do body fat testing today. Lacey is the Domination Dietitian. That is her YouTube page. It's an excellent page, so please take a look at her page and subscribe to her page. She is the dietitian for Dominate Your Game, which is my favorite training facility in the city of Las Vegas. So I'm going to let Lacey introduce herself, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. Hi, everybody. Like Dr. Zella said, my name is Lacey Puttick, the Domination Dietitian. So like you said, go look me up. Um, where we'll find some great cooking videos and other good nutrition tips. Today, what we're going to do, I'm so excited um, to show you some of my favorite methods to do just easy body fat testing so that you can kind of see what you look like and get some numbers for yourself. Because when we're looking at making progress, whether on our physique or weight, we want to see those numbers. Those numbers kind of help us. We look at ourselves every day and sometimes we don't see that great stuff. So we'll show you some quick, easy ways to do this with body calipers and circumference measurements. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the tools, how they're used, and make sure you have a good understanding of that. What we're going to do in this part is Lacey is going to use two techniques to perform body fat composition measuring on me. And this is going to be your favorite part because I'm going to keep quiet and I'm going to let her do all the talking and all the explaining while we are doing this part of the video. All right, so we're going to start with what's called the Navy tape. This is what they use uh, military to um, estimate body composition. This is also just a really quick, easy way for most people to be able to do this without really very, very little skill. Um, all you need is a measuring tape. So I have a couple different ones. I have my Gulick tape. The Gulick tapes are spring loaded. These are the ones they use in the military to get consistent um, measurements because it's, it's spring loaded, you pull to a certain tension. Uh, you can always use just a regular old cloth measuring tape. Like it really doesn't matter when you're doing this at home. The key is to be consistent though. Whatever measuring tool you use, continue using the same tool. Um, I like these type of measurements, not only for the body composition, but also just to have measurements. Like you get good numbers from this stuff. So I do these quite often. Uh, the Navy tape starts with a neck measurement and a waist measurement. So we'll do both. Um, when you do these, make sure you're, if you're doing them on yourself, you probably want to use a mirror. If not, you have somebody do them for you. Um, so I'm going to have Dr. Azello face me so that I can still see and you guys can see how this is going to go. One of the things you want to look for when you do measurements is landmarks. Men are nice around the neck. They have Adam's apples. So they make a really good landmark. So we're going to go right around there and you just lay the tape softly over and with these we just pull to the right tension and we get our measurement okay now what i have to calculate measurements is apps apps are nice for this you can download a whole bunch of them this one's called the body tracker um, so super easy so we'll just put that in there and we go next and we do our abdomen so good rule of thumb with abdomen is the belly button I love belly buttons, they're right in the middle, they're great landmarks, gotta love those. Now, if for some reason that belly button is not midline, if you've had surgeries, a lot of people have had shifting, women, sometimes that belly button falls if you've had children, what you wanna do is look in the mirror and find the narrow space between the bottom of your ribs and the top of your hip bones. That's also a good place to look, so for a landmark. So you just have to find again that landmark. So, hands out to the side. You want to make sure your person is nice and relaxed. You don't want them sucking in doing vacuum poses. Okay. We want it to be a good measurement. And we get that one. Hold to the right tension. Perfect. Okay. And then we put that in our measurements. And again, I would write these down and track the actual measurements as well because it really does help. Um, all right. So based on this calculation, Dr. Azello is about 7% body fat. Um, so, which means he's, he's very lean. He's got that nice, you know, marathon type body. He's athletic in that regard. So, 7% is pretty good. That's very, very lean. Um, so, that's what this measurement tells us. Like I said, they're all going to have some margin of error when it comes to the calculations because they're estimations. Um, many times, like when we do some higher level testing, you'll see discrepancies between these methods and those. And that's just body types and different types of sports and things like that that show that. Um, but it's a good way to track it. Like I said, stick with the same method and stick with the same tools. 
That way you see change. That's what you want to use these for is to track change. So that's your Navy tape. Neck measurement, abdomen measurement, height and weight, and bam, there you go. You get yourself a body fat measurement. So that's the first one. So we just looked at the Navy tape as a way of doing body fat composition. The next we're going to do is skinfold calipers. Now, I love skinfold calipers because they give me even more information. Um, so I have a set of Lang calipers here. These are the lab quality ones. There's a bunch of different ones out there. So again, same tool, same person. You'll get good quality stuff. That's the key here. Um, let me set that down real quick. All right, so these are my Lang calipers. Um, you always want to make sure that you don't let them snap closed. That's just a really good way to take care of them. So when you're doing skin fold, there's a couple of good techniques with this. The thing you wanna make sure is whoever does this for you, you go back to the same person because they know their landmarks, they know how they look for stuff. There's also technique to this. So you can usually find somebody trained in doing this at your local fitness facility, colleges, if they have a sports uh, medicine department or exercise physiology department, they usually have somebody that is skilled in doing this. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind when you're looking at getting skin fold calipers done. And then always, always ask for the raw data. So they'll give you a body fat percentage, but a lot of times the raw data is even better because I can tell you, okay, if I do a pinch right here and it's five millimeters, for example, if you do it next time and it's three millimeters, then you know you've lost body fat. It's kind of a really cool way to, to look at stuff. So that's one of the reasons I use calipers with my people because then I can see where those changes are and where body fat actually moves around. So the test we're going to do is the seven site Jackson Pollock. Um, this is the most widely recognized as kind of the most reliable test when it comes to body fat calibers. You'll see a bunch of different sites and three site and eight site and there's all sorts of different ones, but the seven sites usually the best. So I use that one always. Plus it gives me a wide look at what's happening all over. So you'll see the different sites that we're going to use. I'll enter them into my app because the equation is like this long. Um, and then we'll get a good answer at the end. We like apps because they really do help the process. Okay, you always stay on one side of the body. So we're gonna stay on the right side of the body, always. Um, I apologize, my hands are cold. So if your hands are cold doing this, just apologize first. Okay, so we're gonna start with a chest measurement. So the chest is right here between the shoulder and the top of the pec. There's a little bit of skin right there. Some people have a little bit of body fat there. Women tend to have a little bit more and you pull the pinch, you pull it away from the muscle, and then you just pinch it right below your fingers and you get the measurement. Okay, so there's one. We're gonna do two just to verify. You can do up to three and take an average. It's up to you. Perfect, so those came out the same, so we're gonna put that number in. Okay, the next measurement is the abdomen. So our abdomen measurement is right at the belly button. We're taking a vertical fold and you just pull at the belly button at the side and just pull that away from that abdominal muscle and measure it there. Okay, let that skin relax a little bit. Do it one more time, pull away. Perfect, and put that one in. All right, the next one. So, Dr. Zell, I'm going to have you stand with your right foot in front of you. Put all the weight on your left foot. Slightly bend that. So, this is going to be a thigh measurement. So, this one goes right in between the knee and the top of the hip. So, we're going right in the middle. These are usually a little harder to do on women, just an FYI. They're, your skin doesn't pull away that well. Um, in men, they're fairly easy. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Okay. That one in. All right, now we do the tricep. So I'm gonna have you turn to the side and arm at 90 degrees, nice and relaxed. And what you wanna get is right between, midway between the top of the shoulder and the, and the elbow, and you find that midpoint right here. A lot of people have like good little landmarks you can use, like bottom of the tricep or right kind of in that spot. So you just kind of look for those, but it's midway. Okay, put that one in. And our next one is subscapular. So I'm gonna have you face this direction so I can show them. And you're gonna have your client fold their arm behind them like this. And then there's this spot right below the scapula. It makes that scapula pop out. 
and you just kind of feel around and you'll feel that that skin pull away like it just goes so you'll find that it's either at a vertical or about a 45 you'll kind of feel where that goes for most people okay let's grab one more Okay, the next one is right above the hip. So this is one where men tend to hold right here. It's kind of that love handle space. So you wanna find the, the top of that hip bone right, right here, and you're just gonna go right above it. And you pull that one on a 45 right along the line of that hip bone. You just pull that away. this yep so the next one is this can tickle people a little bit so you want people to stand right facing this way take the arm all the way up to the side there you go and we find right in the middle of the ribs right here so you just pull that away right there and one more okay And like I said, I'll write all these numbers down because I like the raw data. It really helps because this is measured in millimeters. All right, so now we have this body fat measurement. So remember our tape measured at 7%. This measured at 12.4%. So what's correct? Honestly, it really, it's here nor there. It's again, tracking change. So if you like to do, you know, if you like calipers, you have access to them, do them. You get a lot of raw data. If you don't, do the waist circumference measurement and the neck circumference. Whichever one you have access to and gives you information you can utilize is, is fantastic. Um, in a couple of months, we're actually going to show you some of the more technical ways of measuring body fat, um, including DEXA scan and bioelectrical um, impedance devices, things like that, that can also be pretty beneficial. Those are, are interesting because they can show the difference in that intramuscular fat as well. So some people, especially endurance athletes, tend to have a higher level of fat in their muscle because of their energy utilization. Um, so it'll show those differences as well, whereas these methods are looking at, you know, if you're looking to change the way you look, this is a great way to do it. That's, that's the way you do. And most people, let's face it, we want to look better. This is a great way to show that. So that is skin calipers. That's how those work. Um, like I said, make sure same people same device and same equation each time. Yep. Be consistent. Yes. Thank you everybody for watching today's video where we went over two fundamental methods to test for body fat composition. I want to thank you for watching today's video. Uh, Lacey, go ahead. Yes, thank you guys everybody for watching. Again, I'm Lacey Puddick, the Domination Dietitian. Um, take a look at my Instagram page and my YouTube. Um, also, too, visit dominateyourgame.com. We have a great uh, website as well as facility here in Las Vegas. So if anybody needs any help with their nutrition or strength conditioning or anything of the sort, please just reach out to us. We are here to help. Um, and again, I look forward to seeing everybody. Uh, why don't you tell them about the Arnold Education also? Ah, Arnold Education. So one of the great things we do here at Dominate Your Game is educate. We love doing that. Um, we have a really cool platform at the Arnold Sports Festival in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we run Arnold Education, which is a really cool panel of experts that goes for three days. Um, if you want to learn anything about nutrition, training, rehab, um, all sorts of topics involved in the sports uh, medicine world, that's the place for you to go. Just visit um, arnolddeducation.com and you will see that as well. Or like I said, just go to our site and we'll link you right there, Dominate Your Game. Thank you very much, Lacey. I want to thank everybody for watching today's video. Please feel free to like this video. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello, DC. And always remember to train hard, but train smart. Get adequate rest between your training sessions. Utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you. Stay injury-free and accomplish your goals.